Hello everyone, in this class we're going to sort of put in practice what we learned last time. And last class we talked about combinations. So all I'm going to do is, and actually let me go to the home page to show you. I'm going to come to my account, I'm going to go to puzzles, and then under training I'm going to go to learning, and I'm going to choose um, checkmate in two moves. So I'm hoping to get nice two move combinations and that way we can practice. Um, up here I'm going to put the strength up to 3000, hopefully we get something really difficult. And for those of you who are not familiar with this page, I'm leaving the link in the description. You could click on it, create a free account and practice. Now it's not enough guys to see me doing this in one lesson, just doing a few tactics. This is meant for you to see how I think, how I approach the tactics, but also for you to find new resources where you can practice. You really need to commit and regularly do tactics. It doesn't have to be on a website, you could just find a tactics book and solve tactics regularly. If you do 10, 20, 50 tactics, that's not going to be enough. You need to do lots of tactics if you need to improve. So I'm going to just start. Now before I start, uh, remember guys, a combination is going to be a forcing variation that will allow me to get a better position. I know we talked about how a sacrifice is normally involved. To me, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be all the time, but we have to be open to the, to the possibility of sacrificing pieces. But the key is that it's going to be a forcing variation. Also, I need you to pause the video every time I switch to a new tactic. This is very important. Try to do it on your own, then you're going to hear my explanation and you could continue with the video. But I'm going to be speaking really fast. So the moment I finish a tactic and I click next, you pause the video and you try to do it on your own. So I'm gonna hit start. Uh, first one, it tells me here on the white pieces to move. Uh, since I'm doing checkmate into moves, I'm going to be looking at this king. I'm going to look at the checks. Um, even if it wasn't checkmate, I'll be looking at checks because checks are a good way to, to start a forcing variation. So anyways, what pieces might be involved? My queen, my bishop is pointing at the king. So I realize both pieces are attacking f7. So I'm thinking queen takes, king is forced to move here. You see, he's forced to go to h8 and then checkmate. So let's do it and checkmate. Next one, I'm the white pieces again. Um, my queen is going to be involved to have nothing else. So how can I put that king in check? I only see this check. And why is this not checkmate? Well, he could block, but then we take him and checkmate. So check, checkmate. Next one, white pieces to move again. Uh, what pieces might be involved? The king is here. I realize this bishop is not going to attack him, but it's cutting the king off. So I could do rook c8. He has to block with the rook, and then we take it and checkmate. So check, checkmate, thanks to the bishop. Oops, sorry, thanks to the bishop and the rook. So next one, white to move again. King is here. My queen could put him in check. He has to block with the queen and then checkmate. Check, checkmate. And I'm sorry guys if I'm going too fast, but I really want to do as many exercises as I can. So I'm going to hit next and then white pieces to move. The king is right here. I have a battery. So we know the back rank checkmate. So we go and we sacrifice the queen. So there's a sacrifice involved. He takes. And then we take back with a rook checkmate. There we go. You see, I'm open to the possibility of sacrificing pieces. Okay, why to move? My king is over here. What pieces might be involved? Queen and bishop. So I realized that, and this is cool because it involves a pin. So that means I could take this pawn, check, the king has to move, and then checkmate. So check and checkmate. Next one, um, the black pieces to move. Um, let me see, do I have any checks? Well, I could do check here, but he's gonna take me with rook, with queen, um, so that's not the answer. How about if I get the pawn out of the way? If the pawn takes, that's check with the pawn and the queen. And anywhere he goes, I will be able to go queen g2, checkmate. But look, it's a forcing variation. When I take, he's forced to move the king, and then checkmate. All right, so next one, why to move? King is here. Um, I have only two bishops developed. This bishop is the only one that is a light square bishop and the king is on a light square, but there's no way I'm going to put him in check in one move. However, I have my queen. My queen could travel all the way to h5 check. And why is this not checkmate? Well, he could block, but then I take it and checkmate. Check, mate. All right, next one, black to move this time. Uh, the bishop is close by. 
I have a check, but he could take me. That's not the one. Oh, but look at my queen. Check. King moves. Checkmate. All right. And there we go. We know this pattern. Queen in front of the king, protected by a defender. All right. Black to move again. Oh, this is the same pattern. Battery. Back rank checkmate. So we take, he takes, and we take back. Next one. So we already did 10. Let's see if we can make it to 15. All right, so this one is a little bit different. It's also a back rank, but notice that my rook cannot make it to do check. And I cannot do something slow here. If I did a move like, I don't know, let's say I move my rook here to then go down, he's going to put me in check. He probably gets me in trouble. So do I have any checks? Yes. My queen could go to f1. And then my rook is x raying this rook. So when this rook takes me, then the f8 rook is going to take back. Checkmate. Check. And checkmate. All right. Let me see. Oh, this is simple. Just a simple back rank checkmate. He blocks and we take it. There we go. Next. And let me see. Okay. So this one is, I have the battery ready to take on the eight and do checkmate, but my knight is in the way. So how can I get the knight out of the way with a forcing variation? Well, forcing checks are forcing. So I could go 97 check, he's forced to move the king, and then checkmate. So check, and checkmate. All right, this one, same thing. We recognize the pattern, back rank checkmate, and then we take. All right, so we're going to do number 15 now, and let's see. King is in the middle of the board. Uh, I have bishop, queen, and pawn close by. So I noticed that if my queen goes to e6, she's going to be doing check, and she's going to be defended. Well, my opponent's king is going to be forced to go to d8. I really like this kind of moves where my opponent is forced to do only one move. So after king d8, I go queen e8, checkmate. There we go. And checkmate. All right, guys, so let's do one more just to practice. And let's see what we got. Black pieces to move. King is right here. My queen is close by, and so is this bishop. So, oh, I really like this one because this one is not going to start with a check. So I'm thinking, I only have one check, but the bishop takes me. And that's it. My king only is not going to do checkmate. So I'm thinking my move is going to be queen f4, creating a battery, and I don't think they can stop the checkmate. There's nothing they could do to stop me from going to h2. So queen f4. You see, they had to move, make a move, and then we just go checkmate. All right, guys, I hope you found this useful. And again, it was just to sort of practice the idea of the combination. I didn't want to move on to our next lesson and just sort of forget the combination ideas that we learned. So like I said at the beginning, try to keep it consistent, do as many tactics as you can, and trust me, that's going to help improve your game so much faster. So with that said, I will see you next class.